Behold, the emperor of Rome in all of her glory, Nero Claudius. Powder season is here early. Now, before we get off into it, I do want to mention that the channel has now linked with Audible. If you go over there, you can get tons of podcasts and audio books. You guys know I'm a huge Musashi fan. They have pieces like the Book of Five Rings, something I like to refer back to from time to time, among many others. You can get a free trial with the link in the description description and it helps the channel out tremendously now let's get it in fate extra you have her fight against lee shuin where she's reacting to lee's blows despite him being known for ending his matches almost immediately she was able to keep up with ren's effigy subordinate that stated to verbatim fight on the level of a servant in last encore when nursery rhyme hit her with a mad scissor assault she was able to fend it off when ren was obliterated by this same assault right after she took on multiple blows from Li Xuan and came out unscathed she tanked an attack from Chakra Vartan a literal phantasm of the Buddha spirit who said to be universal although it took all of her energy to pull it off we know that she blocked Altera's phantasm Altera being a powerful avatar for the alien white titan she straight up knocked away an attack from Ren's gay bull despite not being being able to see she fended off multiple gear attacks from archimedes that came in from several angles she took on his energy claw only being pushed back by his power a slight distance in the solomon movie she took on a massive falling attack from the beast goetia with no problem in her fight against nursery rhyme you have her incinerating a countless amount of scissor attacks with nursery going down on top of that with the help of a command spell we've seen her fend off multiple shots from robin hood while being poisoned and burned through majority of the forest around her in her fight against francis drake we've seen nero deal with the tactics of her warships while carrying around her master she's dealt with the manipulations of the homunculus ronnie who's outright a demi servant that has access to lubu's phantasmal capabilities she dodged and deflected multiple shots from chakra Vartan and still managed to stab through his core. Keep in mind that this phantasm can one shot a servant. She easily one shotted the yew tree of Robin Hood, which was the core of his bounded field. She's quick on her feet, using her sword to open up a stone pillar and hide her and her master's presence. And last encore, she effortlessly slides straight through an Emia Golem. She flat out cut off Nursery Rhyme's head, despite her having having territorial advantage we know that she has high mental endurance being able to withstand multiple shots from chakra vartan despite her nearly losing her life with the power of her phantasm she was able to completely eviscerate one of the demon god pillars in fate Stella, she sauced up the servant archimedes having him completely exhausted after their interaction she did the same thing to the servants lubu and iskander her her physical power alone was enough to blow Archimedes straight into a wall. In last encore, she took on Fergus, Darius, and Leonidas at the same time and they still couldn't hold her. Nero literally backflipping off of Darius's face. She fended off a numerous amount of blasts coming from all directions when she was up against Francis Drake. She kicked Lee Shuin so hard that blood came out and it pushed him back several meters and last encore once again she kept up with Gawain who is literally one of the strongest knights of the round table and refused to be overwhelmed by his power in the original version of the fight she had to lock one of his skills away for her to even stand a chance with the help of Hakano's dead face he was able to reinforce Nero's power to the point where she broke straight through Gawain's sun power phantasm in fate extra she tells us how she tussled with the lion and was able to choke him out barehanded. She tanked a head-on attack from Altera's photon ray, a move that completely devastated everything in the area, yet Nero was still standing. She tanked a head-on attack from Drake's phantasmal cannon. She tanked one of Robin Hood's arrows straight to the chest and then pulled out that same arrow and told him to do better. You have her EX Imperial Prince 
pillage, which literally allows her to pillage the skills of her opponent for a short amount of time. Using this, she was able to pillage the martial arts of the expert Li Shuwen and hang with him on top of that. You have her unique phantasm, the original flame, a sword that was literally forged from the metal of a meteorite. Even Li Shuwen was complimenting her on this blade, claiming that it was one of the only swords that his power couldn't pass. In Fate Extella, she straight up tanked a hit from Karna's Brahmastra during their interaction. She survived an outright body slam against the wall from the beast Goetia. In Fate Extra, Li Shuwen complimented Nero once again, saying that most of his opponents usually die from his instant fatal attack. Her speed and her skill are nothing to undermine either, being able to jump across a number of rubble to avoid an attack from the White Titan. She's very agile, being able to jump across multiple buildings in order for her to maneuver against Francis Drake. She also weaved through a countless amount of shots from Drake's Phantasm while jumping through these buildings. She reacted to several of Robin Hood's invisible mock speed arrows, deflecting his attacks while jumping through the trees and even catching one a second before it hit her in the face. In Last Encore, she used her imperial privilege to warp space and walk on air like twice peacemen. In Fate Stella, she briefly went up against the divine fox Tamamo, Tamamo herself being surprised at Nero's advanced techniques. In Last Encore, she quickly deciphered the type of phantasm Robin Hood was using, Robin even bigging up Nero after the fact due to her keen insight. She has great awareness, being able to realize that Nursery Rhyme was using a bounded field. You have her Gladius technique, which allows her to use her flame manipulations as energy waves. You have her Rose technique that she used on Francis Drake that allows her to propel a magical mist. In the fifth singularity, she was able to trap Maeve in her Golden Theater Phantasm, a magecraft that's even greater than a reality marble. You have her thrice setting sun skill that literally allows her to revive up to three times. Using this, she was able to survive against Robin Hood's phantasm, nuke one of her lives to get rid of his poison, and gut him like a fish right after. In her fight against Francis Drake, she used her imperial privilege to take over an entire wrecked ship, bring it up to the surface, and wreck straight into Drake's phantasm. This gotta be classified as cheating. When Drake fired off her shot, she sliced her bullet in half at the last second. In the Septum Singularity, Nero mentions herself that her intuition is one of her best aspects. She reacted to Robin Hood's sneak attack on her master and defeated him with no problem. You have Maeve mentioned that her golden theater phantasm can also weaken the targets once they get trapped inside. In our interaction with Kentoki, he mentioned that she has the power to negate one of Tamamo's charms. In Fate Extella, Hakano mentioned that her sword can actually match the Galatine depending on the situation. In the fifth singularity, we get yet another testament to Nero's high awareness, mentioning that she had a sixth sense in her bride form that allowed her to know that Robin was around. In Fate Extra, you have her fight against Ku Cullen, where Ren mentioned herself that her and Ku were evenly matched. In Extella, she has access to a unique mystic code that allows her to fly. She took down the Ark of the Stars, a concept that's on the same level as the Moon Cell, and broke through its multi-dimensional barriers on top of that. In Last Encore, she mentions how her Golden Theater also gives a boost to her luck, which in turn would give her greater favor in battle. In a similar fashion to FGO, she was able to detect Robin's presence before he even showed up yet again. She was able to avoid multiple of the Buddha's lasers while she was mid-air. Due to her background of being emperor, she has great diplomatic expertise. Even when Robin Hood tried to hit Nero from her blind spot, she was still able to react to it. Putting the memes to the side, Nero is a lot stronger than she looks. Although she had a lot of handicaps, like the regalia, due to her role in the story, she still measures up. She's defeated several servants, some of those being some pretty heavy hitters. Ku Cullen, Altera, Gawain,
explained. You have her defeating the alien white titan so far, and then even though she lost, you have her going up against Buddha, who as I've already mentioned, is practically invulnerable and has power over the solar system. This doesn't even include her literally being in the beast class for FGO Arcade. Big feast for somebody that's only four feet tall. I'm not even a Nero fan like that, but the facts are facts and this is looking like an A rank. Rome is in the building, put some respect on her name. Who's gonna keep the pace going after Nero? We'll find out next.